In June of this year, the Human Vam Project will once again be meeting at the UNESCO headquarters in Paris, France. This meeting is an important event for the project. It is here that members of the scientific and healthcare communities will come together to make the plans that will guide the project over the next two years. I am extending to each of you a personal invitation to attend this important meeting and share your views and expertise on a range of topics. We're trying something a little different this year. If you've attended one of our meetings in the past, you know that we place an emphasis on discussion and debate amongst our delegates. It is important to us that all points of view are expressed and debated freely and openly. This year, the Human Varum Project meeting will feature even more discussion and debate. The meeting will be structured around the four key streams that underpin all the activities of the Human Varum Project Consortium. Setting, normative function, behaving ethically, sharing knowledge and building capacity. Twelve sessions will be held over the course of three days, each one on a different topic. Each session will see a panel of exports drawn from amongst our consortium briefly present their views and opinions on the topic at hand. The remainder of each session will then be open to discussion from the floor and amongst the panel. This meeting will continue our drive towards our overall objective to embed the global collection and sharing of genetic variation information into routine clinical practice. Session topics include describing phenotype, the accreditation of gene and disease specific databases and HVP country nodes, the Human Vome Project's role in skill sharing and education and priority areas for standard and guideline development. I hope that each of you will be able to join us in Paris for what is shaping up to be a wonderful meeting. There are still a few days left to submit abstracts for consideration for poster and oral presentations. We have also just announced via our website a number of subsidies for delegates from low and middle income countries and for students. And of course, if you have any questions you can always get in touch with the International Coordinating Office.